So we're here in Boston uh, with the MIT Grand Hack 2019. And this is a large event where we pair engineers, clinicians, entrepreneurs, designers, and all sorts of stakeholders to hack on real pain points in healthcare. In order to really tackle some of these problems. I think why everybody has a particularly great time at these MIT Hacking Medicine events is because in the healthcare system and in the healthcare space, I think every one has at the very least have been a patient. And I think to switch that perspective and have people approach a healthcare setting with a more empowered view is really something exciting. I think bringing people and having them say, have you looked at this a little differently? I think that's the power of grassroots innovation. And the hackathon is where personally I think the best inventions come from. It's just incredible how energized people are to solve problems that they think are unsolvable because healthcare is so complex and there's so many stakeholders that it's hard to break it down. You can't just build something and get people to, and, and just put it out there for people to use. It has to solve a real problem in the first place and you really have to figure out how to fit it into the overall system that exists. And all of those things are really challenging. The real solutions appear the farther you go down that problem. And that happens after this first weekend. This is just the start. This is the catalyst. And, uh, and so that's why we have post-hack events, to bring people together a month, three months afterwards, a year later, to show and celebrate what these teams have done. And we've had you know, a number of sort of success stories if you look at the teams that have managed to continue to set up weekly meetings to um, find meaningful goals and milestones to hit, but from one meeting to the next. And ultimately, I think the teams that stick together and the ones that make it are the ones that follow. We've been able to harness our hacking medicine network to connect them with people who could continue to mentor them or for accelerators or for prizes or to keep pushing them to take actions that will get them to launch. As from the startups we track, the dozens of startups that have been venture funded, there's over 250 million in funding and we're just getting started. The community building effect of this organization really, I think, has been the most powerful aspect of everything that we have done. The connections that you get through Hacking Medicine are, frankly, lifelong. You know, I know as sort of these success metrics, people talk about the number of companies that have maybe started, but I think that totally neglects the fact that these events are just bringing passionate people together that want to do good and have a forum here where they can actually learn those skills. And we want to bring this to everyone who can benefit from it. And so going to different continents and different cities and running similar events, I think is one of the future of the Grand Hack. And so this coming year, we'll be expanding the uh, Grand Hack to several other cities uh, throughout the United States, and then our, our first international Grand Hack outside of the United States uh, in Paris, France. I think that the future of the Grand Hack is to be a name that is recognized, not just here at MIT or in Boston, but when people think of Grand Hack, they think, Oh yeah, healthcare innovation, and I could do that too.